Hi, this is Warren Buckleitner, editor of Children's Technology Review, and today I'm looking at Homes from Tiny Bob. After you pick your customized profile, you go to one of four areas of the world, and there's a home in each area. We're going to go here to Guatemala, and right away you see some of the strengths and weaknesses of this app. First, you can slice away the exterior and then explore the innards of each living area. And the best part is the authenticity. Things are sort of very much like you'd f probably find them there, and I've never been to Guatemala. But there's some irritating things, like why did they put that navigation arrow right by the loom? So uh, that's sort of a, a common mistake that you want to avoid. And then why not just scroll left and right to move around the house? Uh, instead, there's this whole separate menu process that has that revolving key, which is irritating. Um, all these things I didn't quite understand yet here on my first time use. Um, I just wanted to sort of poke around like a child would. I didn't realize that you really have to hit that plus key up in the corner to zoom in and, and closely examine some of the items in the room. Now there are a lot of hidden treasures and that is the real love part of this app and that is like this book that you can examine and practice your language. Uh, there's a sewing machine that, again, I have to hit that plus key before I can really get in and use it. We'll do that later. Um, there's a book on anatomy, all in Spanish. And uh, some of the other things that were nice, there's a um, pretty authentic cooking and eating situation here. Now here's that plus, okay? So I, now I can go in and I can use the sewing machine. And uh, why not just pinch and pull and discover that. Um, I'm not, I'm mystified as to why this app has all these extra steps to get, get around. So here in Mongolia, you can um, quickly jump to some things like washing dishes outdoors from the pump. And uh, this is where I really started to like this app because of the authenticity of the details. I mean, you really got a sense that you might find a motorcycle and a horse, and there's a touch of modern life and modern technology with the um, very rural kinds of things that you'd find, such as that solar panel. Um, inside the hut, you find a game of checkers, and they, this isn't a computerized game. This is actually where two players could sit down and play a game, and the piece, you know, you make up your own rules. There's also a, a book about cooking, and a, a mirror where you uses the camera and a rather irritating television with an authentic sounding soundtrack. Now another thing that every child's going to try is the bathroom, and there is a bathroom in each of these homes, and it has authentic sound effects. And the last stop I'm going to make here is New York, and I noticed that there's a lot more things to do in the New York townhouse than any of the other places in the world. There's more rooms and there's just a lot more options. I have to wonder if it might be because the artist actually um, lives in one of these homes. There's a, an iPad with conveniently some other tiny bop apps shown. And uh, this is uh, actually not New York. This is another place. And this is when I discovered the labels. And like the other tiny bop apps, you can make this into a language experience by dragging and dropping labels into place. Uh, all the profiles here are can be set up by age, and you can also select which languages appear inside each child's profile. So there you have it, Homes from Tiny Bob, the third in the Explorer series. Some things that could certainly be done better, but also uh, uh, some real authenticity that is rarely found inside of apps. I'd like to see more apps like this. I'd like a little bit better design. But all in all, this is a good app to know about for your collection. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.